Hi everybody. For those of you who do not know me, I'm Preston Piles. I'm a sophomore at Tabor. I play in the football team. I'm pretty sure most, if not everyone, has probably seen me around campus. So I'm Preston Piles if we haven't been introduced. So um, Ryan had reached out to me about giving a devotional, some encouraging words that he could pass along to everybody in these trying times. And I, I was honored and blessed that I was even considered to be reached out to. And so I said, yeah, for sure. And so what I would like to talk about is the fear that's taking control of everything around us, pretty much our world. And the fear, it's, it's understood to a certain extent, but as followers of Jesus, our number one focus shouldn't be on ourselves or on our family. It should be on Jesus Christ and his return and his kingdom. And for me, I've always viewed fear as what someone quoted it. I'm not sure who it was, but it's false evidence appearing real. And the world around us is, I mean, it's telling us that we're on our own. And I mean, we, there's no hope unless we do X or Y. But I want to encourage you to always remember that there is hope with Jesus Christ. There's hope in Jesus Christ. We are never alone in this. Jesus is with us through all trials and tribulations. And we must all be aware of everything that's happening around us for sure. But our number one focus should be on Jesus Christ and his return. And when he returns, he will bring home his children and take us home to heaven. That is the number one thing I want everybody to remember during these trying times is that there's doubt for what's going to happen in the future. But there's one thing for sure, and that is Jesus Christ is returning for his church and his children. And so I want to encourage everybody to focus on God and bring all your fear and your doubt and bring that to the cross. Because the things that are happening in this pandemic have never been seen before, but God is in control. He's always at the wheel. And so I encourage everybody to pray for all those around the world who are suffering. But pray that this pandemic brings a revival across this country and across the world. And that it brings everybody who has turned their back on God. And it brings them back to God through Jesus Christ and through repentance. I want to share uh, John uh, chapter 8 verse 12. Then spoke Jesus again unto them, saying, I am the light of this world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. Jesus has conquered this world when he went to the cross at Calvary. And I want to encourage everybody to continue and to remain in that faith and remember that during these trying times. And I want to encourage everybody to be lightness in this dark, dark world that we're seeing around us. Be the light. Have the power that Jesus has given to you and be the light. And finally, I want to challenge all of you, myself included, to be in the word of God every day and to be in spend moments in prayer every single day.